Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about galactic motion. And specifically, we're actually going to discuss the idea of where exactly our own Milky Way and nearby galaxies are actually moving, and where they might end up in the next few billion years. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So pretty much every major simulation that I've used uh, often has one problem. And the problem is that it's very, very difficult for us to imagine motions of galaxies. As a matter of fact, I cannot think of a single simulation or a single uh, video game even where galactic motion is presented at all. We're often presented with this. This is what we usually imagine when we think of a galaxy. Now, because of these spiral arms that we see in the Milky Way, we can kind of also imagine that it's actually spinning, and this is really as far as it goes with most video games and simulations and scientific articles. We don't really realize and never even think about, or mostly never think about, that this and also all of those other galactic spots that you see in the background are actually in constant motion and are always, always, always moving somewhere. Now, one day maybe Space Engine will have this capability of simulating the motion of all of these galaxies you see around us. But for now, we're stuck with this still image, almost like a pause button of a video game. Here, um, or I guess sort of a video. Here, if I actually accelerate time, nothing really changes. Nothing moves at all, which is very unfortunate. But there is a new study. And this study actually takes into account pictures that were taken for... Uh, many, many years, and also analysis of pictures from other studies that try to estimate, based on redshift and based on uh, radial velocities, where all of these galaxies are actually headed. And as a matter of fact, in this particular study, and in the um, simulation I'm about to show you, you can explore, to some extent at least, where the Milky Way will be headed, where it's going to end up, and how our nearby galactic neighborhood might actually look like. Now, I'm just going to zoom out of here for a second, just to show you that this right here is what we know, what is known as our galactic neighborhood. So the closest um, galaxies to us are right here in this cluster, and the most well-known um, neighbor to us is Andromeda, at a distance of about 2.5 um, million light years, right there. So. This is the Milky Way, that's the Andromeda, and this is our neighborhood. There's about 56 galaxies here, most of them are small. Um, only Andromeda, the Milky Way, and another galaxy known as Triangulum, which is right there, a little bit off, away from Andromeda. Uh, these are the biggest galaxies that we know of. The rest are relatively small, also known as dwarf galaxies. So, if we were to actually imagine this as a motion, this is what it would look like. And this is based on the study and the analysis by um, an astronomer and the lead author for the study, known as Ed Shea from University of Maryland. And I believe this particular simulation was actually made by uh, Daniel Pomeride uh, from University of Paris, um, Saclay in France. And this is essentially what it looks like. I can actually rewind this a little bit. And press the play button and you'll see that things start moving around. Now, every single ball that you see in front of you is a galaxy. Specifically, these are galaxies that we've already mapped and are nearby uh, next to us, except for one ball. Um, the biggest ball here, right there, the red ball, is the uh, main attractor in this area. And this is actually Virgo Cluster. This is where we're headed and this is... With about 600 trillion times the mass of the sun, and it's about 50 million light years away from us right now. Uh, but we are headed this way, and we are located right there where this little yellow spot right there. That's, that's us right here, and this is the Andromeda galaxy. Now you'll notice that Andromeda and uh, the Milky Way are actually slowly approaching each other as well. And in the next few billion years, they're actually going to collide and turn into one galaxy. And then they're going to uh, advance here and join Virgo Cluster and become uh, a part of a much, much bigger cluster as well. 
And actually, at the moment, uh, as of today, we're still a little bit outside of the capture point from the Virgo cluster. But in the next few uh, billion years, we're going to approach uh, Virgo cluster close enough that it's going to capture us and the, the motion of our galaxy will actually change. But I guess what's interesting about this particular simulation that you can totally just manipulate and move around. Oh, and by the way, the link for this is in the description below. Um, the interesting thing here is that it really gives you a perspective of how all of the galaxies are actually moving. And they're moving around and you can see that some of them are moving in the same direction. Some of them are moving in a different direction. And some of them are kind of just doing their own thing. And this is how we define galactic clusters uh, nowadays. When galaxies are moving toward a similar direction, we, we define it as a, as a local cluster. When big clusters move in the same direction, we define it as a supercluster. And uh, in one of the previous videos, I've talked about the biggest uh, supercluster we've discovered and also our own supercluster known as uh, Laniakea. And this is kind of what Lenny IK looks like if you were to look at it. The Milky Way is right there and our cluster is right there as well. And this is represented uh, with something like hundreds of thousands of different galaxies. And all of this is of course in motion and these lines denote the motion and direction of that motion. In other words, if you were to zoom in right here and then zoom in here a little bit more, you would actually see something that looks like this. Now, what is really interesting here is that if you were to actually look at all of them over time, they're all moving towards something in our, um, in our local area. And this something is known as the Great Attractor. It's something that's super, super massive, but we don't really know what it is. So eventually, once we join the Virgo Cluster, which is in red, we're going to kind of all head toward a certain direction. Now, as you can see, this is actually... Um, before the Andromeda and the Milky Way collide. So this is maybe about 2 billion year period. Um, and, okay, maybe a little bit more. And eventually, um, in the next few billion years, all of these galaxies will actually form a, a relatively large cluster that we're probably going to be referring to as a Virgo cluster if we're still around. And so just to give you the, the perspective of this again, so imagine all of those galaxies you see here moving around. And now we're going to return to Space Engine and kind of try to position things this way. So this is the Milky Way, that right here is Andromeda, and they're basically currently moving in this direction over there. And somewhere over here, they're going to collide into a single object. Okay, maybe a little bit farther away, somewhere over there. So in other words, everything is currently moving this way. And if you look at it again in this simulation, you'll see that it's kind of headed toward uh, Virgo supercluster, which is in in that in that direction right there. So in other words, um, we're headed somewhere over here, somewhere in this direction. So in other words, all of these little spots are actually moving somewhere. But because things are so so big in the universe, and because our galaxy is gigantic, and other galaxies are even larger. Um, it's hard for us as humans to imagine this motion and it's hard for us to even realize that this is constantly moving somewhere at speeds of hundreds of kilometers per second. Well, that's kind of all I wanted to show you in this video. And specifically, I just want you to understand that these things are moving that way. And one day, some of these galaxies will actually combine with each other and become even larger. And maybe just maybe our own Milky Way, because it's going to be so massive when it combines with the Andromeda galaxy, will reach a point where it's going to be extremely large as well. So I'm posting the link for this in the description. Do play around with this, check it out, and uh, maybe even consider reading this paper because it does show you some really, really cool facts about the motion of different galaxies. And also, if you want to actually know the names of these galaxies in this particular simulation, um, the page I posted also has a picture and, or an image that shows you the names of the nearby galaxies, our own Milky Way right there in yellow, uh, the Andromeda M31 is in red, and Virgo is the big spot on the right side, and other galaxies that are marked here as well. So that's kind of all I wanted to show you in this video, and hopefully you enjoyed it and, and if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and coming back tomorrow to learn something else. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let's go in the middle of our galaxy and see what's up there. And space out. And as always, bye-bye.